Well, harness racing honour rolls on both sides of the Tasman heavily reflect the name Purden in all the big feature wins on both sides. That Nathan Purden now is looking to add his name to that honour roll as far as the New South Wales Oaks is concerned with his exciting filly Amor Vita. I caught up with Nathan on his arrival at Club Langle today. Nathan, there's some very exciting names on that particular honour roll. Of course, we fight for glory, our dream about me, party on. And of course, your father also drove the great mare, Stylish Memphis, for Mark Jones. Yeah, yeah, it's a really uh, prestigious race, and yeah, lucky enough, we've got a, a nice uh, filly to contest it this year. Amor Vita, tell us about her. She's a very determined character. Yeah, she is. She's. Uh, She's had sort of a quite a long prep, and she's probably not uh, <laughs> not really a, a natural two-year-old. But what she done last season was really good, and uh, I think she'll grow on that too. Eleven starts with seven wins and three placings. So one thing you do know, she wants to be competitive. Yeah, for sure. I think she's a pretty special filly. Uh, she's shown at last start that she can match it with them and, and do it tough too. And, uh, just, you know, she's not versed, uh, she is versatile. She's not just uh, a one-trip pony, a sprinter. She certainly had to dig deep to add another win to her credit last time out in defeating Just Hope. Yeah, she had everything sort of stacked against her that day and uh, the leader got sort of led away with the cheap sectionals early and then and then sprinted late and she still outclassed her. So uh, yeah, it just shows you she is a very top-line filly. You've drawn in the middle of the line. What's the early game plan from there? Uh, well, not too sure, really. We'll leave it up to the driver. But uh, uh, not sort of. We put Chris Alford down, but he just said not long ago that uh, he's going to stay in Victoria for uh, for the heat. So uh, probably approach Cameron Hart and see if he can uh, take the reins there. Nathan, you've had a lot of success with Phillies and Mares and more Vito currently, but also Spellbound, which is going great guns. An amazing dream. Is that doing because of those with the cards you've been dealt, or do you have an affinity towards the fairer sex of the part? Uh, a little bit the cards have been dealt. We've got three really top fillers and mares all at the same time. Um, I, I do think you've got to train them differently, but uh, yeah, I'm saying that, very lucky with the three that we ended up with. And we've seen Spellbound up here the next week? Yes, yeah, she'll be, uh, she's settled in well and she'll be rearing to go. An amazing dream. Uh, she's off to America actually, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame to lose her, but uh, we're lucky to have her in the first place and um, yeah, we were lucky enough to get a lot of luck with her uh, while we had her and uh, you know, she took us on a great ride, but um, you know, her time's come when she goes to America now and uh, I'm sure she'll do a great job. Nathan, the Purden name is just synonymous with Harlem's Racing on both sides of the Tasman. Our condolences following the passing of your legendary grandfather, Roy Purden, and what a legacy he left and then the legacy the family continue. Yeah, it's big shoes to fill, Mike. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's great. You know, Granddad brought on a, a lot of information to me, and uh, and Dad has too. So um, yeah, I've grown up with uh, with the right people around me to succeed. And you know, if there's any ever uh, ever any a, a question around it, uh, yeah, I can always call on on Dad or, or anyone in the family really to uh, to answer the question. What was the most important lesson you learned from your grandfather? Uh, he said to me once when I had uh, Hoka Punner in Queensland, he, uh, he said, you want to know the secret of training horses? And, and uh, yeah, I said, yeah, without trying to get too excited. And uh, and he said, just keep them happy. Uh, if you've got a happy horse, they'll do anything for you. And he's n never said a truer thing, really. Nathan, you did a lot of track work starting at 11 years of age, but you don't do a lot of driving these particular days. No, it's just the way, um, starting out as a, as a young trainer, I think a lot of the owners want the, the top uh, Rainsman on as often as they can, and uh, you know, I think there's enough pressure on, on me training them, especially the, the quality of horse that I'm lucky enough to get. Um, you know, it's good to hand the reins over on the big days. Having the surname of Purden, Nathan, no doubt is a big plus, but can it also be a hindrance in a small way? Yeah, I think um, you know people expect to have a high expectation when when one of our runners step out, and um, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself uh, to to make sure they're up to up to scratch, and uh, you know they're going to perform it at their best. But um, you know it's it's a blessing and a curse one on one, really. Amore Vita coming back to Saturday night. Will she be progressing through to the final of the Oaks in two weeks' time? Yeah, I certainly hope so. Uh, she fits a in the right race, I think the, the other heat might look a bit stronger on paper, but um, you know, she's uh, sort of a tricky draw, but, but not really. It's over the 2300 instead of a mile, I believe, so uh, that gives her a bit more time to get around them. It's been great to catch up. We're certainly looking forward to a more Vita and also Spellbound, carrying those uh, famous names of the Purden here at Club and Angle. No worries at all, thank you.